Welcome to a lesson that will show how to construct the angle bisectors of a triangle. If you already know how to bisect an angle, this should be review. We're going to bisect the three interior angles of this triangle. So we'll need a compass and a straight edge. And the first step is going to be to place the point of the compass at each vertex and then swing an arc so that it intersects both sides of each angle. So if we put the point of the compass at vertex A, the first arc might look something like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and leave the radius the same on the compass and do the same at vertex B and vertex C. So I'll put the point of the compass at vertex B and swing an arc. Put the point of the compass at C and swing an arc. Now you can leave the compass the same or change the radius. I've actually increased the radius a little bit, and now what we're going to do is put the point of the compass at each intersection of the arc and the sides of the triangle and swing another arc in the interior of each angle. So if we put the point of the compass here and swing an arc in the interior of the angle, the arc might look something like this. And now without changing the radius of the compass, we'll put the point of the compass at this point of intersection and then swing another arc in the interior of angle A, which might look something like this. That's all we need to construct the angle bisector for angle A. The angle bisector will be the ray that starts at point A and passes through the intersection of these two arcs. It might look something like this. And since this bisects angle A, we know these two smaller angles are congruent and half the measure of the original angle A. And now we'll do the same at vertex B. We'll put the point of the compass at this intersection point and swing an arc in the interior of the angle, which would look something like this. Move the point of the compass over to this point of intersection and swing another arc in the interior of the angle, something like this. And now the angle bisector will pass through this point of intersection and vertex B. And again, we know that these two smaller angles are congruent and half the measure of angle B. And we'll do this one more time at vertex C. We'll put the point of the compass here and swing an arc in the interior of the angle, something like this. Put the point of the compass at this point of intersection and do the same. And again, our angle bisector will begin at point C and pass through the intersection of these two arcs. So we have two smaller congruent angles here and here. And also notice that the angle bisectors intersect in one point. This is called the point of concurrency. And this point is called the in-center. And the in-center is equidistance from the three sides of the triangle. Remember, the distance would be the length of the segment here that's perpendicular to the side of the triangle, not the length of the angle bisector. So these three distances here and here would all be the same. And because of that, we can inscribe a circle or construct a circle that fits nicely inside the triangle. We'll go ahead and finish by stating the concurrency of angle bisectors theorem. This theorem tells us that the angle bisectors of a triangle intersect in a point that is equidistant from the three sides, as we just stated. I hope you found this helpful.